I told you about the history of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, it started out as like a quack, like health serum. And this guy, the, the guy was making quack health serums. And then he literally just combined like Coca-Cola. Out of Hotlanta. I forget the guy's name, but he, uh, he combined cocaine and cola nut, which is like a thing people were chewing. People were feeling it. And then he started just putting into like jerk soda machines, crushing it. And then these two, like two buff fuck brothers came along. And we're like, yo, <laughs> we'll fucking bottle this shit. And he was yeah. like, nah, dude. And they're like, we're going to bottle it. We'll pay you. And then it just became like a around the country sensation. And then everyone started liking it so much that they, uh, well, they almost got shut down because they like the American health association was like, yo, I don't think you guys can put cocaine and stuff for kids. And they were like, shut it's up. Fine. And eventually they were like, oh, we took it out. It's, it's out anyway. Don't we worry about it. We swear to God it's out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the reason they spread, they became a multinational corporation was because they, I think it was World War II, they promised the soldiers, the Doughboys, like, we'll have a cold Coca-Cola to you guys on the battlefield all the time. Was it the Doughboys? Do you remember Doughboys? I think so. That's War- one. Is that one? Yeah. Oh, my bad. It might have been World War One. Yeah. But they promised them, they're like, we'll get you ice cold Coca-Colas in the battlefield.